All right, guys, this is day two of compare and contrast writing. All right, I need you guys to focus in. All right, I want all eyes up here. Everyone ready to work? Every single person ready to go. Capiche? Let's try it again. Capiche? All right, hopefully you all did it. Now, when we were talking about compare contrast, yesterday I talked about how I used to love DC, but the um, Marvel movies have just, I don't know, they convinced me. And one of the reasons why is as I was watching the uh, first Iron Man movie, which is the first one that really hooked me into Marvel movies. And when I was watching Iron Man, what I loved about it was it wasn't just a really dark and depressing action movie like a lot of the DC movies have become. It was exciting, but it was also fun and funny and energetic, and I loved both sides of it. Whereas the DC movies have always been sort of um, dark and depressing and sad, and even, even the colors they use are really dark in the movies. And that's just, I don't know, that just convinced me that the Marvel movies are better. Now, I will say Wonder Woman is an awesome movie. And so uh, Aquaman Man was an awesome movie. But again, those movies brought in some fun elements. And I think that's where it needs to go. But my point is, it is really interesting that every single time I see something, I'm trying to compare it in my mind. And I'm sure you guys do this too without realizing it. You're comparing, uh, you don't even have to admit it, but I know you guys compare teachers and you're like, oh no, why, do, why does this teacher allow this to happen, this one doesn't? Or you compare teams. Well, I don't know why, why that team gets to do that and we don't or vice versa. You guys do it all the time. So we're gonna do some compare contrast and today, I want to teach you that essayists bring all of their skills to compare and contrast by comparing what's similar and contrasting what is different about themes in different texts, okay? So we're gonna talk about some things. We're gonna talk about a story that we've already discussed in this uh, whole unit. And that was at the very beginning, we talked about the three little pigs, okay? So I want you to think about what was the theme because we didn't really talk about it then. What was the theme or life lesson in the three little pigs? So just think about it in your mind for about 10 seconds, not aloud, just quietly. All right, now one theme that I think comes out of the three little pigs is if you try to do something one way, you may just need to find a better way to do something. So the first little pig tries straw, the second little pig tries sticks, and the third little pig is like, those aren't gonna work. We need to try something different and use bricks. So I want you to think about what is another story that we've read about that might have a similar theme? Now, remember, it may not be exactly the same, but every story usually has some sort of theme to it, and a lot of times they connect together. So what's another story, just think about it in your mind, that might have a similar theme? All right, take about 10 seconds and tell the person sitting next to you, what are some other stories that have this theme of when something's not working, you try something new? Go. All right, voices off in five, four, voices off in three, two, one. All right, all voices should be off. Shh. So you probably talked about a whole bunch of different stories, but one thing that we've already all discussed that I think applies here is Raymond's Run. Because think about that. At the beginning of the story, Squeaky wants to be the best. But that does, isn't working for her anymore. She's already the best. She's conquered it all. But at the end of the story, she changes her mind and thinks, 
you know what? There's got to be a better way. What if I trained Raymond? That might be a lot more, bring me a lot more joy in my life to help train Raymond to be a runner. So she looks at things from a different perspective. So what do you think about this? So you got this, these two stories, three little pigs and Raymond's run that have similar themes. So we could write an entire essay comparing those two. I know it's a lot to think about and process. I mean, this idea of theme in general is tough, but then once you start comparing stories that have a similar theme, it can be a challenge. I get it. So I want you to think your, to yourself and get yourself ready because your work is going to be comparing two texts. So the first thing I want you to do is you are going to take either your story that you read on your own. So either uh, Stray, uh, Thank You Ma'am, All Summer in a Day, or um, Your Move. That story that you read on your own. And you are going to compare it to other stories with a similar theme. I will also give you the option. If you prefer to write about Raymond's run and you want to use that one instead, that's fine. So you have five stories to choose from. One of the new four new stories or Raymond's run. Choose one of those as your first. Whatever the theme is from that story that you choose, you need to think about other texts that might have a similar theme. And I'm going to have you talk about this with a partner. So we're going to do 10 seconds of just quietly thinking. So think about your story that you're doing and what the theme was. Now I want you to think about and brainstorm with a partner, what are some other stories that you have read with a similar theme? And it could be anything we've read in class, any book, but it has to be something you've read. So it could be Peak. It could be any one of the other four stories. It could be Raymond's Run. It could be a story you've read for another class. It could be Harry Potter. It could be uh, Lord of the Rings. It could be uh, any book that you've read, but it, it could be a children's book you read in elementary school, but any story, just think about it and discuss it with a partner. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to discuss with a partner about some possible themes. So go ahead and start talking. Some of the Sprite from yesterday. Got about 10 seconds left. Finish up your discussions about some possible stories you could use. All right, voices off in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so here's what you are going to be working on today. You are going to write a, an essay. You are going to have between now and next Monday to write a rough draft of a compare contrast essay comparing your story to another story or several texts. And what you need to do to start off with, if you're stuck, start by writing how are the stories similar and then if you want to do some of the differences, you can, but you're really focusing in on how do they all compared to that theme, okay? And if this chart is gonna mess you up, it's just optional. If you just want to start by making a list of, so let's see, all the ways that the story is similar, and so story one, story two, and how the similarities they have between them, that's fine. Uh, if you want to dive right in and start writing, that's fine too. Uh, but you need to figure out how does the theme in your story that you read compared to other stories that you've read and try to come up with specific examples, okay? So that is your work for today. 
uh, I will continue to work with you on this throughout the week. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But good luck. Uh, you have about one minute to get situated and get quietly writing. Okay? All right. Look forward to be awesome. Bye, guys.